Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about debugging tools in Pega Constellation. So what is so different from older versions of Pega? So in older versions of Pega, you know, whenever I create a case and I want to say which section, which flow action, which property, which hardness I want to know, I used to use this live UI. Now in Pega Constellation, you can't use live UI, see? I can't identify from where this section, this drop down or this flow action is coming from. It's not so easy for us to figure out using the live UI control. So in today's session, I'm going to teach you how can you identify the views and properties in Pega Constellation. So what you have to do is if you want to identify the views and all, it's pretty simple. Turn on your tracer. Just turn on your tracer. Earlier we used to enable settings, right? For data pages, DB queries, declarative rules, we used to enable the settings, right? The same way, go to the settings and enable view rules. Okay, enable views and click on okay. Now minimize the tracer. Just navigate on the case. Back to the tracer. Do you see this? This is my view. View start, view end. So you can see the view name clearly here. You can click on it to open the view. So this is the view I'm working on. Now what if you want to explore the property names inside it? I want to look at the metadata of this view. It says, you know, you have to open this in the case designer. So if I go here, how can I look at the metadata? I need to go here and, you know, explore, right? Which is a little difficult. So how can I explore from the view itself? How can I explore what are the properties inside it? What are the data pages being referred? What is the data type of the property? X, Y, Z things I want to see here itself inside the view. How can I do that? For that, you need to take this Pegas OTV when rule. Okay. Put it in private edit and make it as true and save your changes. Now, when you do this, just refresh your views. See the metadata is coming here itself. Now it tells you it's a view of name create. Okay, it is coming from the work dash flight booking class. And you can see first it has an image, flight image and followed by that, you know, you know whatever I have added. You can see all of that details here clearly in the view itself. Okay, so the first way is use your tracer the simple way, right? Turn on the tracer, submit the case, look at the view and make sure your invent rule is enabled so that you can look at all the metadata. And this is the easiest way I feel. Now what if no, no, I only want that look and feel of a live UI. I want to put the pointer and see. What if I want to try that way? I am not comfortable this way. I want to try that way. If you are a person who prefers that way, then what I suggest to you is you need to open this developer tools of your browser. Okay, you know, right? You have to go to the developer tools by clicking on F12. Or you can just right click on the screen. Let me go to another screen and take it. Just right click on the screen and say inspect. Once it loads, okay, go to the console tab, clear it. Now there is a tool called as X-ray tool. It's called as X-ray tool using which you can debug. There are some debugging commands for that. You need to use it and debug. So one such command is this one. Pico dot get debugger dot tool X-ray. You need to say true if you want to turn it on. You need to say false if you want to turn it off. Okay, you should be careful with the case sensitivity. You should be careful with the brackets. Don't miss any brackets. Don't add any extra brackets. Make sure your, your case sensitivity is properly defined. Now, when you enter this, look at this. You can see it's already enabled. Okay. 
see this this all boxes with i is coming do you see so it tells me like what view what property everything it will tell me if i click on i i can see all the metadata here okay it's going to come for this screen also just it, it needs to be refreshed maybe we can just go to the next screen and see it's just taking some time to refresh so you can see this is my read only screen okay you can see all over okay you can see the view name is booking confirmation here and here you can see the view name is passenger info here you can see the view name is passenger info underscore you know one and you can look at the check boxes also so information about the checkbox you can see it's coming from the data page d underscore coupons list and the property name is coupons list it's from data dash coupons class now you can see the whole metadata like this by using the x-ray tool okay so for the entire screen you can do this you can see views you can see properties you can see drop downs whole screen you can do but please remember that guys this doesn't work from app studio from what i found you know it doesn't work in app studio you need to try this only in the dev studio okay try it so like this for every screen you can figure out what and why you can figure out just like your live ui and please be aware that this is not going to work on your widgets and all those things you know this headers this widgets it will not work please don't try this on them okay it only works on your case don't try this headers this left panel and say no nikola it's not no no it is not going to work okay this is another win how do i turn it off same command just put a false that's it you turn it off okay same command you need to write down false and you need to hit the enter and that's it it will be turned off sometimes it is taking me more time to get refreshed and close the tool okay we need to wait otherwise just refresh the browser ideally it should happen automatically the minute you give the command it has to automatically close all this eye symbols and should you should come to a normal screen without any x-ray tool but sometimes it's not working you can just refresh and try see my session expired it seems that could be a reason just allow me a second let me re-log in this conference will now be recorded okay now you can see this is gone it's gone just because my session expired maybe it didn't reflect you can see it's gone again whenever you want to turn it on just use this command okay it will turn it on and it will be turned off so these are the two easiest ways for you to debug okay one is like using the tracer and the other one is using this x-ray tool which is pretty easy now what is the other way to look at the views suppose i want to look at all the existing views in my application where can i find it there is a class just like how your sections flow actions and harness used to have a pegas otb class similarly there is a class for views as well go to that class rule ui view and make a single click you will be able to see all the views all the views you can see like this right super now one important thing i want to let you know guys in the operator profile we have a small checkbox okay in the earlier versions of pega if this checkbox is not enabled sorry in the operator preferences if this checkbox is not enabled we can't see pegas otb rules in the search or in the records explorer also you need to enable this okay enable diagnostic features only if you enable this pegas otb rules will be found in the search or from the records explorer otherwise otb rules you cannot find them in the elastic search make sure you enable that only then otb rules will be found in the search okay hope you find this video helpful please like and comment on my video guys if you want me to publish more videos like this thank you so much for watching